Today we are going to attempt to fabricate the torso rings for the top and the bottom here that allow Robbie's torso to pivot on the waist section and his head to pivot on the top. They should be identical. And we're gonna make this attempt with uh, this Lazy Susan, 600 millimeter diameter, purchased off eBay. These two 1 8 inch thickness aluminum rings and a couple little 3D printed parts. So let's cross our fingers and see what happens. The Lazy Susan is nice because it has these um, countersunk holes already. Um, you know, they're already pre-drilled holes through it to put, to mount something to it. Perfect. Spins very nicely. The original waist ring was, might have been like a found item. Um, it looked maybe the inside of, um, it was like a, track like this with some wheels that spun around like for maybe the the metal band around a barrel or something i can't figure out how to replicate that so we're going to try with these um, aluminum pieces here and the main thing that we need to do is because unfortunately i can't find a lazy susan that's perfectly big enough to fit inside robbie uh, the exact dimension so we need, need to extend it a little bit and we need this metal ring centered perfectly inside so that it spins correctly so i've just you know, designed and printed a couple little 3D strips here that'll act as a jig. What I will do is put these on each side and just take them here. And what that will do is hopefully perfectly center this and then we will mark the holes on this side and go cut them on the drill press. And obviously these pieces are flat when we, can, when, we took, when we do the holes for each side, sort of make this lazy Susan sandwich here. We, won't, we don't want any friction here, so we'll have to have just some washers inside for a little bit of spacing um, so that the two pieces rotate freely. And I'll put links to where I got these and where I got the lazy Susan. Spoiler alert, lazy Susan, about $100 I think. Uh, cost of the aluminum rings uh, for two, I think $36 each. So with shipping, uh, also about $200. And you need, if this works, you need two of these, uh, one for the top and one for the bottom. So you're looking at, you know, uh, $200 each, $400 for the two sets of rings. Quick note about how I'm marking these holes. You don't want to mark them with... Uh, you know, a pencil or something, because when you go to, even on a drill press, the uh, the bit will drift a little bit. So you want to use like a center punch. I'm using a nail set here, not exactly the, the correct use for this, but but bottom line is you want a little divot for the start of the bit to, um, you know, to sort of catch. So you want to use something like this and just, you know, tap it lightly with a hammer and make your holes that way. And that'll make sure that, the, you know, the bit doesn't drift a little bit as you're drilling the holes, because again, it's very important for this thing to be perfectly centered so that it spins correctly. And now where the magic happens, the messy workshop back here, video, slash video game repair shop, slash lawn equipment. Uh, there's the drill press in the corner where shortly I'll attempt to drill those holes in that ring and we'll see how it all comes together. Time for the next step, which is to install the ring or rings. So I'm gonna put the screws in, in the part that's already countersunk here. And these are just three quarter inch. An important thing to remember is between the screw and or the, the Lazy Susan and the metal plate, at least one washer, because obviously if it touches this ring and this ring, it won't spin freely. So four screws each side, one washer. We'll see what happens. So the first piece of the ring is installed. Notice I take the other screws inside there. And so you have one washer on each one of these screws. And basically we got the first half of our Lazy Susan extended with the metal ring still Smooth with just one washer. 
seems fine. So now I'll put the top on. I obviously won't be able to get to those screw heads, so I'll just be pulling it and tightening with the nut. And we'll see what happens. Okay, there it is all screwed together. And I think that works enough. There might be a tiny bit of friction. An extra washer might be fine. Maybe a little bit. But uh, I want to keep the height as thin as possible. So I think that'll work fine. And next, let's see what it looks like inside the torso. My torso is the product of a couple early, you know, changes and variations as he is, Ian was working on this and I made a few changes to the front here. So there's a thinner ridge around the back here, a thicker one around the front. I'm not sure what the latest, um, what the latest files have, but um, this diameter, I think it's roughly 24 and a half inches, should be the same. So this will fit in here. I had it, I had it uh, cut just a tiny bit, a millimeter short for a little bit of tolerance around it. So this fits in here very nicely. So obviously, um, you know, maybe, I haven't thought about how I'm gonna mount, how I'm gonna secure this yet, and if it makes sense to permanently attach it to the torso, top and bottom. Oh, you can see down here, like look how much thicker that ridge is on the bottom. Right, so maybe it makes sense to extend some of the screw holes on the bottom and mount it that way. For now, just a little test. You can see it spins around nicely in here. And the height is perfect with just those washers. It could even be a tiny bit higher to beat, but I think this is, I think this is really good. So that works very well. And the next thing will be to put the head on top now, the dome, and uh, let's see how that works. So the first thing I notice about this dome ring is that there's a lot of extra material here on the bottom. That used to hit the ledge and it would be flush here at the top, but now we have a ring here. So we don't need this, all this extra about, I don't know, maybe it's about an inch thick. So of course, while it can spin around on top there, it's too high. So. What that means is most likely I will be reprinting this and basically almost eliminating all of this material here and maybe changing the design to, to make a thin edge come in here that can be screwed into this ring. So let's just assume right now that this piece will probably need some adjustment. We can just for sake of demonstration, see what happens when we put the the head on here and assume that at some point that ring will be adjusted and yeah I mean that's basically I think what we want so just a matter of redesigning that ring coming up with some uh, mounting points for both the, to the torso and to that uh, that head gasket or head ring whatever you want to call it and we'll be in good shape now the bottom is going to be a little bit different I have to think about that because of uh, you know, right now it's obviously in a stand and for a static display, this would not be an issue. Um, if it were just sitting here on top of the ring, I, I could, you know, move the torso, but I have to think how that is going to mount uh, when, I, when I attach it to be worn as a suit. So more info there to come, but I'm pretty comfortable with this test. So I think I'm gonna order the parts to make a second one. Um, again, I'll put the, uh, the files for the little spacers that I made for drilling, I'll put on my OneDrive, I'll put the links to the, um, to the two pieces of metal where I got those cut and the, um, the Lazy Susan in the description. Happy building.